Some travels feel like they're taking you to another time instead of another place. That's what happened with our trip to Turkey, something that felt ancient, but also a land lively and dynamic, full of many attractions, beautiful to tour on a motorcycle, fully equipped by GV. We board the ship in Ancona in the early afternoon, and the next day we arrive to Egominitsa, Greece. We just landed, but we are already full of energy. We check that the motorcycle, equipment and accessories are ready to go and we leave. The road is simply awesome, windy with a beautiful view. We enjoy the ride. We take some picture-perfect shots with our camera. Here is our first stop, Meteora, that in Greek means floating. Here men started building temples since the 11th century, on top of natural rock towers at head-spinning heights. No surprise that the monasteries also appear in the movie 007 for your eyes only. We are back in the saddle and riding in a single line, we head towards Stavez. Thessaloniki, a very nice city. We dine at a cute restaurant where we can park right by the tables outside. Early the following morning we get back on the road. 40 minutes in line at the customs to cross the border. We are in Turkey. We get immediately pulled over by a patrol car. Apparently we broke some speed limit by a hair. Craziness ensues, but fun all the same. A long stretch is waiting for us, 900 kilometers on shiny tarmac, marked by the heavy trucks that traced huge ruts. We stop to rest at Tuzgalu, the salt lake, one of the largest in Europe. The huge and breathtakingly beautiful flat surface reflects the sun and makes you blind, and all that white salt gives the feeling of a great emotion, a never-ending purity. Here we are finally in Ushisa, Cappadocia. Its beauty must be taken in little by little. It's a Spartan city with a slow pace from a distant time. The stronghold is a huge cliff of volcanic rock drilled by a million cavities. Unbelievable. Feels like a sci-fi movie. These are the chimneys of the fairies, the pyramids of Gorome, UNESCO World Heritage. Many scenes of the movie Star Wars were shot around this desolate valley. Today though, the stars are the hot air balloons. They climb up in the sky and paint with color the surreal landscape. In the landscape of our memories, we will relive these spectacular views.